Hey everybody, Todd Getz here from DigitalTrailBlazer.com and in this training, I'm gonna show you my favorite type of ad to run. And it looks like this. Now, why is this my favorite? It's because this type of ad makes us the most money. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different places you can run ads. You can run ads on Google, on YouTube, on Instagram, but Facebook is where we've actually had the most success in our business. And the reason is because creating a great ad has two parts to it, okay? Now, obviously there's the ad itself, like the stuff that you're looking at right now, the headline, the text, the picture, or the video. But the other part, which is just as important, if not more important, is your targeting. The secret to paid ads is to target the right audience with the right message. And Facebook is one of the very best places to be able to target the right audience with your message, okay? Because with Facebook ads, I can target followers of our competitors, I can target followers of other related businesses. For example, if I had a fitness program that I was selling, Facebook has a targeting option specifically for people with an interest in weight loss, okay? You can see right here, uh, this is an audience of 47 million potential customers that I can target with my ads. But here's the thing, I know that if I want the absolute most accurate targeting, I need to go a step further, okay? And what I mean by that is that there's all types of people who want to lose weight. On one end of the spectrum, you may have people who have absolutely no interest in exercising, who uh, you know don't ever work out, uh, that maybe have a medical condition like diabetes. Then on the other end of the weight loss spectrum, you've got people who exercise and work out every day, and they want to shed as much body fat as possible. Okay, both of those people want to lose weight, but it's for different reasons. Okay, those are two very different types of people that want to lose weight, and I would not run the same ad to both of them. If I wanted to run a weight loss ad to either of those people, I would create a very different type of ad, right? So if I dig a bit deeper into Facebook's ad targeting, I see that I can target people who like bodybuilding.com. Okay, if you've ever been to that website, it's for people who work out all the time. They, get, they sell supplements. They've got a forum that's very active. And this is something that I can target with my Facebook ads as people who like the website bodybuilding.com. And this is an audience of over 5 million people that I can target my ads with. Now, if I want to go a step further than this, I could even say that I want to target more of a female audience that likes to work out. And so Jillian Michaels is another person on Facebook that I can target her audience with. This is an audience of 3 million people that I can also advertise to. Okay, and there's all sorts of ways that you can target people on Facebook. It's not just by interests, but it's also by things like demographics and behaviors. So people who have children, people who own a home, people uh, in specific income brackets, uh, people who just bought a house, people who travel. I can target people by age, by gender, by their location, and on and on and on. So with Facebook ads, it's very easy to target the right audience. And that's a very important part of this equation. Now, once you've done that, now we have to get the right message in front of them. Okay, and there's a very basic ads formula that we actually put our own twist on that just supercharges our results. Engagement goes up, we get more clicks, our opt-in rate skyrockets. It's not unusual for us to get an opt-in rate of 60, 70, 80% with, uh, with an ad like this. This is what we call a story ad, and really it's just a simple picture post, okay? The pictures that we found that work really well with this type of ad are just normal looking pictures. They look like pictures that your friend would share on Facebook after they went on vacation or something. They don't have any text on them. They're not overly photoshopped. They're just pictures of us. And the reason these work so well is because they don't look like an ad. So people don't have that instinct when they see this. They don't have that instinct to just scroll past it. They see it in their timeline and it, it stops their scroll because they start thinking to themselves, well, who, who is this? Do I know this person? Are my friends with them on Facebook? Who is this, right? And that's what gets them to start reading the text, okay? And the text is very important, especially the first three or four lines, because this is where we do what's called a pattern interrupt and a hook, okay? So the pattern interrupt is basically a statement or a question that catches people's attention and gets them to stop their scroll and keep reading. And then the next few lines after that, we start telling a story, 
okay? But we make sure to leave it off on a cliffhanger before they get to this uh, continue reading link. And this is really key, okay? Because we want to create a ton of curiosity so that they click on this link to continue reading to get the rest of the story, okay? When people click this link, when they click the continue reading thing, that sends signals to Facebook that says, hey, people are interested in this and this is a good ad. And when you do that, Facebook rewards you with a lower ad cost. Okay, so it's really important that whatever you write up here in this part of the ad, okay, what we call above the fold, is interesting enough that they want to click the continue reading link right here. And then the rest of the post is just a short story that follows a simple copywriting formula called PASS, okay? Problem, agitate, solve. And this is a formula that you can use really with any type of ad. It doesn't have to tell a story. But what we found was that when you do tell a story, people become much more engaged and, and much more responsive to your message. And that's what makes these types of ads so deadly effective, is that when you follow this formula and you can tell a good story along with it, people just can't help but to click on it. So with this formula, right, problem, agitate, solve, the first thing that we do is we describe a problem that you were having that your audience can relate to, okay? And then you agitate that by making it emotional. In other words, you describe what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and the consequences of what might happen if you fail or if things go wrong. And then the third part of that is that you provide the solution, okay? Problem, agitate, solve. So in this ad, specifically what we were doing is we were describing the problem of trying to build our network marketing business and having everyone tell us no. And then we agitate that by describing how our upline just told us to keep bugging our friends and family until they joined, which, you know, we didn't want to do because we didn't want to damage those relationships. So our upline wasn't any help. And we just wanted to be able to find people who actually wanted to buy our products and join our opportunity. And it seemed like no one in our company was able to help us out with that. And then the third part of this is where we provide the solution. So we talk about how a friend of ours showed us how to find people online on social media who were actually interested in network marketing and how to connect with them and introduce them to our opportunity and about how when we did this, when we followed her instructions and did what she told us, we recruited a bunch of people into our business. And so after we tell that story, at the very end of the ad, we give a quick call to action and we say that if you want to learn the strategy that our friend taught us, you can register for a free training that we're doing where we'll teach you exactly what we did, right? That's it. That's basically all this is. And this type of ad is incredibly effective. And time and time again, these story ads give us the very best leads at the lowest cost. And like I said, the best part is that you don't need fancy graphics. You don't need a bunch of Photoshop skills to create something like this. As long as you follow this formula and you can tell a story along with it, it tends to do pretty well. But it's ads like this that, you know, especially early on, allowed us to be so profitable with selling our online course. You can see over here on the far left with our ad spend versus our sales volume over here on the right. You know, we're able to put basically $1 into our ads and get as much as $5 or even sometimes more back out. And we're able to do that week after week after week. And after this started happening, that's when we knew that we were ready to automate our sales process, right? Automate our webinar. Because at this point, we had a very comfortable profit margin and we had a great ad strategy that was producing great leads at a low cost. And the thing is, at the time, we, you know, we were doing live webinars like once a week. And with live webinars once a week, we were topping out 30, maybe 35,000 per month in sales. So when we took that same ad, that same webinar presentation, the same sales funnel, same registration page, you know, and, and same everything, and just put it into an automated system, just added a few tools, put a few systems in place to automate it all, that's when we started to see the huge jump in sales. You know, 83,000, almost 84,000 here, 76,000 the next month. And then we really cranked up the ad spend and were able to produce almost $200,000 in sales in a single month. And we would never have been able to do that if we had just kept doing live webinars. We needed to automate our process in order to produce 24 seven sales and really just get the very most out of what we were doing. And having a great ad strategy was a huge part of being able to make that happen.
So if you would like our help to set up and create and run your Facebook ads to sell your online course or your coaching program with, this is something that we have a lot of experience helping people out with. So there should be a button below this video or maybe a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, you should be able to click that and schedule a free strategy session with us. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at your business, see what you've got going on and get you pointed in the right direction with what you're doing. And after hearing what we have to say, if you want to work with us further, we can show you what that would look like as well. So click that button below this video to book a call with us and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye.